In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your brand new Apple Watch with your iPhone. Hey there, welcome to the video. I'm Mark Brown from Buckle and & Band. And if you're new here, consider subscribing if you own an Apple Watch, because on this channel, we're going to have a ton of content all about the Apple Watch. Now in this video, we're going to show you how to set up your brand new Apple Watch with your iPhone. So let's jump into it. Okay, so we've got a brand new Apple Watch here. I'm going to open this up and then we're going to show you how to set this up. Okay, so we've opened up our Apple Watch and if you're new to Apple Watch, in the box you'll get a wireless charger for your Apple Watch and I would recommend that you fully charge your Apple Watch before you do this pairing process. You no longer get a plug here in the UK, so you will need to supply your own power brick to charge the watch. And on the left hand side here, we have the brand new Apple Watch. This is the stainless steel version and uh, we're gonna be doing a full review on this. This is the Series 7 stainless steel with cellular. So if you wanna see a full review of this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. So first of all, all you need to do is turn your Apple Watch on by holding down the little power button here on the right hand side. Now this can take a few minutes to turn on for the very first time. Bring your Apple Watch next to your iPhone and you'll be greeted with this. Apple Watch, use your iPhone to set up this Apple Watch. Simply press continue. Next, we're gonna set up the Apple Watch for myself. And now it's gonna ask you to position the Apple Watch in the frame. You'll get this little animation here on the Apple Watch. And all you need to do is hold your iPhone camera over the Apple Watch, like so. And this will pair the two together. It's really clever. There we go, and your Apple Watch is paired. So we can restore from a backup, or we can set up as a new watch. Now I have an older, Series 4 aluminium Apple Watch, so I'm going to restore from a backup. And you can see here, if you own a previous Apple Watch, they will actually come up here. And I've had quite a few, as you can see. So I'm going to restore from Mark's Apple Watch, the aluminium 44mm case. Continue. Of course, if this is your first Apple Watch, you can simply hit Set Up as New Apple Watch. Next, all we need to do is accept the terms and conditions. Now it's gonna sign in with my Apple ID. If you're using your Apple Watch for the very first time, it may ask you different questions here, maybe about what apps you want to use and what things you wanna sync over from your iPhone. So next, we've got shared settings. I'm gonna click OK. And you do want to enable location settings, especially if you're using the watch for fitness. If you're going on a run, the watch will not be able to track your location, of course, if you have that turned off. Next, we're going to choose the text size. Now, this is the Series 7, so it actually has a bigger screen than the Series 4. I'm quite happy with that, so I'm going to continue. Next, I'm going to create a passcode for the Apple Watch. So we've set up the passcode. Next up, blood oxygen. You can use the blood oxygen app to check your blood oxygen levels. It can also measure levels throughout the day. Now I love all of the fitness features and health features built into the Apple Watch. So I'm gonna enable all of these features. Keep your Apple Watch up to date. This will ensure your Apple Watch has the latest software. So I'm gonna hit continue on this. Next up is Apple Pay. Now this is one of my favorite features on the Apple Watch. If you're new to an Apple Watch, you can pay for your items just simply tapping the button on the left hand side. You can also use it for the London Underground and buses as well. So I'm gonna hit continue. And you can see here, it's already pulling in all of my credit and debit cards from my iPhone. I'm gonna hit next and run through and set up those. Next up, we've got emergency SOS. You can press and hold the side button to call emergency services. Really handy if you're walking around at night on your own and you just want that peace of mind, you can call the emergency SOS. Also handy if you're in an accident. I've heard stories of people being trapped in the car and using the Apple Watch to save them. Fall detection can also call emergency services if Apple Watch detects a hard fall. So this is handy maybe if you're older or if you've got a disability. If it detects that you fall, it will automatically call emergency services for you. Next up is the always on display. This is on the Series 6 and Series 7. This means unlike old Apple Watches where the screen goes black, this will keep the time displayed on your screen in a low power mode. Really handy if you just want to quickly glance at the time. 
So next up, you've got the option for app view and list view. This is a personal preference. I actually like having the apps in an alphabetical list as I can get to the app I want quicker. I'm gonna press continue. Now, Apple Watch is syncing. So this will take between five to 25 minutes, depending on how much stuff you have on your iPhone that's going to sync. So we'll come back once this is done. Now, as this sync is gonna take some time, I'm gonna take this opportunity to show you some of the buckle and band straps. Now, as you know, at Buckle and Band, we produce the highest quality leather straps for your Apple Watch. So I'm gonna put a few of my favorites here. This is the suede khaki strap. We've got the brown leather Lond strap. This is a hybrid strap for working out. And what's great about an Apple Watch is that you can change your style however you want. So if you're wearing brown shoes one day, you can put on a brown strap. If you're going to the gym, you can use a strap like the hybrid strap. And this can be worn both for work, for going out and for the gym. And they simply just slide into the Apple Watch like so. So here you can see we've got the hybrid strap, all CNC machined straps. They look absolutely stunning on your Apple Watch. So let's say you wanna use this one for the gym and then on a, on a night out, you wanna put the brown one on to go with your brown shoes or your brown trainers or boots. Let's do that. So you simply take them out and then I'm gonna put on the suede strap here. So simply just slide these on like so. There we go. And you can see there, we've just transformed the Apple Watch Series 7 again and just made it look like a real luxury timepiece. Just look how beautiful that looks. All of the connectors are matched to the stainless steel Apple Watch straps. So it just looks absolutely beautiful. If you wanna check these straps out, they're at buckleandband.com. We've got them for all of the different colors of the Apple Watch. Let's just put on the brown one here as well so I can show you that. Let's put this one here. This is like a light brown tan watch strap. And again, we've transformed the Apple Watch again. And how nice does that look? It takes it from kind of a tech looking computer on your wrist to a really beautiful timepiece. So check out buckleandband.com if you want to grab yourself one of these straps. Okay, so we have synced and it now says welcome to Apple Watch. You can now adjust your faces, change your settings and get on with all the good stuff. So if we click OK, you are now done. Now what I'm going to do is explore some of the new settings in the Apple Watch. And if you want to learn more about the Apple Watch, I'm going to be doing a few tutorials on how you can get the best out of your Apple Watch, how you can add new faces to the Apple Watch and some of the best apps that you can get. But now for today, you have successfully paired your Apple Watch. So there we go. I hope this video has helped you set up your brand new Apple Watch. Thank you for watching and make sure to check out our other videos up here that are all about the Apple Watch too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.